Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me Zane, back here with another video. Now in today's video guys, I'm coming back at you with a different type of video and not one of your normal rep videos. In today's video guys, I'm actually going to be giving you guys a lesson in graphic design. I am actually planning on doing a couple more graphic design tutorials and maybe going more into that field instead of doing all these rep videos all the time, but don't worry, I'll always go back to that. In today's video guys, I'm actually going to be teaching you how to achieve a certain style that I've been trying to achieve for many, many years. I was never never able to actually achieve it up until very very recently. I literally tried everything. I tried using gradient maps, tried playing with a bunch of different filters and adjustment layers. Honestly nothing worked up until I finally figured out and realized how I can't achieve this effect. Now the effect that I'm talking about is the style that Deadmon Burns uses. If you guys don't know who Deadmon Burns is, Deadmon Burns is a graphic designer or a visual artist who makes these really 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 cool pieces of art. Kind of makes these collages but has this sort of style and look to them that is just so unique that I have not seen anywhere. Deadmon Burns has even done work for Drake and a bunch more artists. A lot of artists have noticed him. I definitely recommend you guys do go check out his Instagram. He has so much cool stuff there. Now for some reason this effect always stood out to me and I've always looked at his work for inspiration. So now that I finally figured out what I had to do, I definitely felt like sharing this with the rest of the world because I'm certain someone out there is trying to figure out how to do this as well. Now the only things that you are going to be needing for today's video are Photoshop. That's literally it. You just need your picture and Photoshop. Alright, now let's get on right into the video. Just for reference guys, we're going to be turning this into something that looks like this, which is pretty incredible. I'm even going to be teaching you guys how to make this like a really blobby outline. I definitely think it's a cool trick to learn. So let's just get on right into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously make a new document. So I'm going to make mine like 3000 by 3000. And then you're just going to want to import your image. Now once you have your image, you're just going to want to remove the background so that we can put a solid color. So I'm just going to resize it and then I'm going to just go right up here to select and then select the subject. There you go. It's all selected. You can right click layer via copy and there you go you have your background removed now you're just gonna want to make another layer make a solid color layer make that anything we're gonna make that like a light blue that looks nice. So the main tool that we're going to be using is the camera raw filter tool. This is what Deadmon Burns uses to achieve all of his looks. He literally just plays around with the knobs. You don't need any gradient maps. You don't need to make any adjustment layers with like a threshold or anything like that. Or you don't even need to posterize anything. You just need to play around with the camera raw filter. The camera raw filter is located right on the filter tab. And then you're just going to have to want to go down to the third option and click on camera raw filter. Now, there aren't specific settings to achieve this effect. You kind of just need to play around and go with your gut and decide what you think looks good. So what I normally like to do is, since I want to bring out those warm skin colors, I'll bring up the temperature by a little bit. I will play around with the exposure. I'm going to bring that to 0.45. You guys can copy exactly what I do if you do like the end result. I like to bring up the contrast, bring up the highlights, bring up the shadows by a little bit increase the whites by a little bit as well and bring down the blacks by a little bit too and i like to bring up the saturation and then i go to curve and what i like to do is i like to bring the first point down and make a second point up here and uh, just play around with that as you guys can see it really brings out those blacks and brings out some cool shades of white really really interesting so like even that looks pretty good to me but i'm gonna go a little bit further and show you guys how to add some like colors to it i'm gonna go edit the blue channel so i'm gonna just play around with this like you're gonna get like a pink so i just brought one of my points right up there to the blue practically looks pink right now but i'm gonna bring one down and then bring out that yellow and of course you can always change the hue so you can make it look even more interesting and even bringing out those blues can be very very interesting like that's really cool i haven't tried that yet but i just kind of changed that whole orangey vibe to like a blue turquoise-ish vibe like i mean i really am digging this so i think i'm actually gonna leave it at that i mean this is honestly the coolest tool i've ever seen it can literally flip your images into something so crazy like this the main tools that you should be really using are the basic tool the curve tool and sometimes if you want to be adventurous you could be using the split toning tool and of course the color mixer but yeah that's really it here we have an amazing result i think i'm gonna change the background color to something more 
more turquoise-ish. That looks cool. Now to achieve the outline that Dead Von Burns uses in a bunch of his pictures, he normally has like a flame design. I wasn't able to find one of those vectors, so I'm gonna be just trying to recreate what I already did, which was using like a blob vector and I guess making like a stroke around myself. So I just found some random blob off the internet. This one right here, it's like literally a Shutterstock image. And I just imported it, took my magic wand tool, deleted the background, and then I just reselected everything again, went to edit, and then did define brush preset. Once you've defined your brush preset, you're just gonna wanna go to your brush settings and then turn on shape dynamics and bring up the angle jitter by like 30% and then change the size jitter by 14. And now you're gonna wanna make a new layer, bring it behind your image, of course, and you're just gonna wanna paint around it in a lighter shade of whatever your background is. So I'm just gonna go use the eyedropper tool, slide my background color, and then drag up to get a lighter color of whatever I'm using. So once you turn on shape dynamics, it'll literally just start to rotate your brush every time you click. So it'll give it some variation and it just gives it such a cool effect. Make sure that you go like really close to where your image is so that you don't get too much of the blob. I feel like it makes it look really ugly if you don't. I'm just kind of rushing this just to show you guys as an example. But I mean, you can go like really in depth with this and uh, add some more cool stuff to it. There we go. I'm really, really happy with the result. Of course, you could always merge the layers down, add some grain to it by going to the camera raw filter, going to the effects, turning up the grain. I'll give it some nice texture and yeah that's pretty much it so guys hope you enjoyed this really cool yet simple tutorial let me know if you guys do want to see more graphic design tutorials i have a lot of knowledge in photoshop and graphic design and i do definitely think it's a cool thing to start doing on my channel thank you guys so much for watching and peace subscribe to zen buckle <laughs>